I'm Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics. Let's go. Hey everybody, Don Dabney, Left Coast Classics, Wine Country Car Guy. Um, so this is another car that comes from my friend, my friend's collection, and so he collects these. He's got like 50 of them, and we're selling off a bunch because he's getting, you know, he's kind of getting overwhelmed with cars. But his cars are usually one, two, three owner, mostly California cars. He likes them really original, like maybe repainted once, maybe the interior's been done once, but just original. And so when he gets one of these cars, takes it over to his mechanic in Marin, they uh, they just go through it and whatever it needs. It could be like, uh, you know, the distributor points, plugs, wires fluids belts if it needs a water pump whatever it needs to be reliable because he drives them between marin county and san francisco which is about a 50 60 mile round trip deal so he just wants them really reliable so this is uh one of those cars and it just starts runs totally great it's just a cool cool old plymouth with a three on the tree it's got the uh, aftermarket uh sig flare you know blinkers and it's just really unmolested. The interior has been redone at some point and looks good. And uh, the paint's an older repaint, but the car just runs like a top. It's pretty cool. So come along and we're gonna take you for a little cruise in this car. I'm gonna take you on a video tour underneath the car and I'm gonna show you every square inch of the car because that's what I do. All right, let's go. One thing I really like to do on these cars to show you is show the lower portion of the car, especially with a uh, magnet. So I've got a pretty strong magnet from the magnet source, or kind of a medium magnet. So we'll start back here at this corner. We got shots from underneath. There's no filler. Got a little anomaly there. And it's mostly these lower areas that would have so much kind of rust and filler and stuff. But we have good magnet adhesion. So no overt filler in the car. I would hate to say there's none because I think almost anything this age is going to have some somewhere. A couple little surface things there. Yeah, you just want to know you're not getting a rust bucket. I think we got a little filler right up there. Magnet's just not grabbing it quite as heavily as it did on the other side, so I think we've got a little filler there. Otherwise, pretty strong. Check the bottom of the trunk. Nice and strong. 
All righty, we've got the old Plymouth up on the rack. And bear in mind, this car has never had a frame off resto or anything. So this is just all super original. Nice solid floors. Definitely got some surface rust. But overall, not bad for a car this age, huh? Get up in here into these inner rockers. Pretty good shape, all things considered. It's got the fake exhaust pipes, which are kind of cool looking. They're not hooked up, obviously, you can see that. And there you go. So 68 year old car with the original undercarriage. That's not bad in my book. totally dig about this car is it's so it's just so stock and it it's really highly functional too like the uh the headlights work the panel lights the blinkers the brake lights everything's like working in here the heater um and all the gauges except for the original temperature gauge has been bypassed and he's got a, uh, a water gauge down below so you can really have an accurate you know reading of what the temperature is but it's just cool it's just got a cool to it got that cool old horn i'm gonna take a spin it shifts great all the gears easy peasy the car starts right up and it just runs smooth the way these you know late 40s 50s cars did but the clutch feels great the brakes feel nice suspension like a good car that you just get in and cruise around and have a blast in up on the website at my site at leftcoastclassics.com if you're not up there already obviously the video and uh, a few hundred photos so check it all out if you got any questions you can always give me a call my phone number is somewhere up whatever you're looking at and uh, enjoy the ride